Hey y'all, today we have a Shimano Bait Runner uh, 6500B that's obviously missing the drag knob and the reason it came in was because it's skipping at the top of the oscillation. Boom. Uh, so that could be a couple things. Uh, it could be the, the crosswind, it could be the main gear or that section that meets the crosswind. It could be something as simple as the one of the uh, C-clips is loose uh, the top one and then it just drops back down kind of I mean it could be that so it could be something uh, pretty simple but it could also be something that may not be able to be replaced because these parts are no longer made of course uh, I have a few of the parts so alright so let's take off this thing I did, I did remove this part already this was pretty tight on there so I'm not sure how that functions, but I'm sure it worked for him for a time. But we're going to get straight to this and see why it's skipping. Should have left it off when I got it. Ugh. Anyhow, so while I go ahead and open this up, uh, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the like button, and tell your friends about the channel. If you appreciate the content that I put out, I am going to first find my screwdriver. Okay, open this side up. So we can get that off and open up the, uh, the side housing. Now if you want to see a full breakdown on one of these, uh, you can check out the other videos in my library. This is more of just a, a repair or how to repair video. I'm actually not even going to show you the repair. I'm just going to show you what the issues are so you know what to repair. That's pretty much about it. Hopefully there's nothing else wrong inside there when we get in. Funny thing is on this reel, uh, one of the things that goes bad on these reels or is an issue is the <coughs> the <coughs> excuse me the line roller, and that actually rolls, so it's not frozen. All these screws are the same size except for that bottom right one. It's a smaller version. Okay, so we pop the side cover off, and we're gonna undo this. <coughs> this <coughs> we're gonna do this. Uh, the B runner clutch. by taking out these two screws here. And here comes the fun part in pulling those uh, C-clips off. And they are both secure, it looks like. Put on bait runner mode so I can rotate this. It looks like they're both there. So that's not the issue. And I'm going to take this anti reverse off. Sometimes we get this on the first try, sometimes it takes a couple. But basically I'm just popping out the C-clips on that uh, on the shaft. And for some reason I always start with the top one. So I couldn't tell you which one is easier to start with. I think that came off. It's off in there somewhere. 
Might be better to start with the bottom one. So you can pull it up. There goes one. At least it didn't go shooting somewhere. I lose these all the time. I will say that, and they have a tendency to just pop back and up and out. So let's see if we got the top one off. Yeah, we did. All right, so let's get to the why we're here. Pull that out. <coughs> so we're gonna check these gears and see what they look like. I see some definite wear on this and absolutely some wear on this so we got to replace the cross wine or the uh, oscillation gear and the main gear check these bearings out that one feels all right that one's locked up so we're up to three things now that's good what else all right, well, we're here to stick that off and see how that looks underneath. I'm pretty sure we have to replace the drag on this. But the reason the uh, the reel was skipping was because the teeth on the gear, on the oscillation gear, but mainly on the main gear right there, are shredded. So you can leave the video now if you'd like or stay tuned while I check the anti-reverse and the bearing on top and then we'll be done with this video that's pretty loose pretty easy also oh these have a tendency to get rust on that uh, counterweight there I don't have a remedy for it I just kind of clean it off and add grease to it so fingers crossed that this pinion gear is not or pinion bearing is not frozen inside there and it's not sweet And that works that's not so bad all right so basically the the reason that the reel was popping up and down or or popping at the top of the oscillation was because of the main gears so if you can find them you can replace them i have some somewhere and i have the oscillation gear as well so and the bearing so we're good on this reel uh thanks for watching it was pretty simple and straightforward hope you guys enjoyed it still and gals uh, and I'll see you guys next time.